Chapter 6, Exploratory Data Analysis. Chapter 6.1, Which Category is Best Selling and Most Profitable? Which category is best selling and most profitable? Let's make a table of total sales, profit, and quantity by category. All right. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? This code groups the total of sales, profit, and quantity by category and creates the table. Panda's data frame function creates a data frame that is a two-dimensional data structure. The data is aligned in a tabular fashion in rows and columns. Panda's data frame dot group by function groups the data according to the categories and applies a function to the categories. Got it. Click on the play button or hit shift plus enter. We can see a table of total sales, profit, and quantity by category now. That's right. Then let's make a graph to make the data easier to observe. All right. Type the code like this into the next code cell of your notebook. What does this code mean? This code set the styling to white grid for plots. Seaborn defaults to using the dark grid theme for its plots, but the set style function of Seaborn library can change this styling to dark grid, white grid, dark, white, or ticks. What does this code mean? The matplotlib.pyplot.subplots method provides a way to plot multiple plots on a single figure. This line generates a figure with one rows and three columns of subplots. What does this code mean? This code creates the bar plots in rectangular bars. The seaborn.barplot function creates bar plots that represent the observed values in regular bars. To use this plot, we choose a categorical column for the x-axis and a numerical column for the y-axis. And we will see that it creates a plot taking a mean per categorical column. What does this code mean? This code sets titles. What does this code mean? This code rotates axis for x-axis. What does this code mean? The tight layout function adjusts the spacing between subplots. Got it. Click on the play button or hit shift plus enter. We can see three bar plots of total sales, profit, and quantity by category now. That's right. What can we learn from bar plots? My observations are all three categories, furniture, office supplies, and technology, make similar amount of sales. Technology is best selling, and it's good to know that this category is the most profitable too. Although furniture makes similar sales as technology, it is the least profitable and quantities sold are at a minimum too. Office supplies sells the most in terms of quantity, as it is a relatively cheap product. Well done!